there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage tonsil. You guys knew why you were here. Uh, really quickly, before we get into this video, um, I want to shout out uh, the user Kim K uh, all day. Uh, thank you so much for the super thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to you i so in this particular video you guys we we're talking bbl to shay bbl to shay what, what do you guys think great no <laughs> i cannot so so rumor as it well really to me um it it's not a rumor i saw it for myself when i was looking uh at the unphotoshopped images and video of Letitia herself and, and saw that clearly uh there was a difference right um and Marceau has alluded to it as well but uh nonetheless let's talk about it let's debunk more lies because again you know Funky Dineva he's got his uh you know assignment to, to get on the YouTube streets and, and and tell all the people the version of events that the Scots want out there so that uh there is no questions except for because of the gray areas that continue uh, with them, including Maurice trying to convince the people uh, that it took eight hours for him to be processed, you guys. That it took until noon of the next day. It is giving, I do not know, want my wife to know where I truly was the night before. Right. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we are here again because, you know, Bucky Dineva is trying to translate phonics unhooked for you guys and, and trying to translate and, and clarify that she didn't say that her daughter stinks you guys because of a bbl and that uh she had an odor allegedly because of the chemicals and everything involved with the recovery process of the bbl has an odor and my questions are isn't kimmy a registered nurse don't you supposedly have a husband that you live with? Don't you supposedly have all of these friends in Huntsville that you say is quote unquote your girl on when the cameras start rolling and your mom had to drive all the way up to Huntsville to, you know, help you out, help you heal, help you recover? Where, 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 it, where is the people right there in Huntsville for you? That's what I mean, you guys. Th these people refuse uh to tell the truth the truth is not in these people but apparently it was the talk of the town because multiple people and multiple family members allegedly uh were confirming about bbl tushy right uh so nonetheless i uh, you know it is what it is right but here's my thing for somebody to get on and come for somebody's appearance and try to make you know negative comments about mel fans mel supporters and the melameters and, and trying to discriminate against them and shame them and all of these things meanwhile you are bbl tishy and, and you have the audacity to do that no 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 you do not have the right or the authority to come for anybody else's looks when you are too busy enhancing yours and stop touching your face you didn't need to touch your face but you keep touching your face for some reason i have no idea why your face was fine but but again the, these reality stars they they feel the pressure that they they've got to look like these instagram baddies they have to look like the alleged linebackers that their husbands are rumored to be entertaining at all hours of the night when they're getting duis and all the things right but but nonetheless <laughs> we are here right but it be your own family you guys it really be your own family because why is Letitia's mom telling all of this business out to a whole bunch of people out here in these black with the QUE streets you guys why if Letitia wanted it out there I'm sure she would happily tell it herself even though Marceau doesn't care and doesn't mind joking and trolling his wife every opportunity that is out there to do so but usually uh Letitia's mom's pretty ride or die for her right so so are we gonna blame it on the alcohol like are we gonna blame it on the liquor like what is going on 
<laughs> that you are putting your daughter on blast like this right and then uh people want to clean it up because uh funky dineva himself even did some double talking at the beginning of this story he specifically said that Letitia's mom said that there was an odor regarding, uh, you know, the recovery process of a BBL. And then later in the video, he claimed that Letitia's mom uh, didn't say that it was Letitia that had the BBL, you guys. After previously confirming that she did. <laughs> you guys, I, I can't, can, 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 we, can we get the lies straightened out? Can we straighten out the lies once and for all? Because it is getting comical at this point that we have to continue to keep having these same conversations over and over and over again. Here is the thing. If you cannot stick to the lie, why not just tell the truth? <laughs> like, like why, why, why? Why go through all these hoops and hurdles when you do not have to, you guys? The truth will set you free, I promise. It won't be all the stress to have to, you know, concoct these stories to the bloggers, the same bloggers that you said you guys don't pay attention to and you guys don't talk to behind the scenes as shade to other people, except for you clearly do, because clearly Funky Dineva got right on his platform uh, to regurgitate whatever version of events you guys said, right? And, and clarified and tried to translate Phonics unhooked language, you guys. Can you make it make sense? How do we know for real that she wasn't shading her daughter, right? How do we know that for real? And then Funky Dineva wants to add on at the end, oh yeah, well, everybody looks good, BBL or not or whatever. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, 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 again, the damage is done. The damage is already done saying that there's an odor of any sort associated with BBL, Tishi. But nonetheless... You know, here we are. But I just, here's my thing. If you're going to come for other people's appearances, uh, you better be looking like a 10 out of 10 is all I got to say. Because there is no reason for you to attack other people's appearances and you are choosing to surgically enhance your appearance to feel better about yourself and your self-esteem. Now, here's the thing. I do not care, right? If people want to get plastic surgery or whatever, that is their prerogative. But what I do care about is when these people claim that they are the perfection, right? That they're the prototype and, and want to come for other people's looks. And how is it that you seem to know what the quote unquote melometers look like and mel supporters look like that were able to attend Carlos King's live podcast event if you were not there? And if you allegedly had another event to be at at the same day and time, can you make it make sense? So either you were looking at somebody's live that was there, or somebody was providing you something for you to see, because again, we didn't see anything. I, uh, you know, really there was only a couple people who were able to kind of sneak stuff, but we didn't see any actual people. So how did you get to see what the millimeters looked like back in January if you didn't go and you were so upset and offended that you weren't even invited? But you probably weren't going to go anyways. Make it make sense. See how you tell on yourself? See how you tell on yourself, you guys. So clearly, uh, you were out in the bushes somewhere uh, if you had a good look at, at what these alleged uh, millimeters and mill supporters that were in Huntsville in January looked like. You were somewhere to have known that information uh, well enough to start shading people. Make it make sense. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.